fellow third grade and welcome to your math skill for today. We are on page 200, 628, 628. We're going to continue looking at fractions on a number line from 0 to 1. Remember a number line normally looks like this. And we are zooming in to 0 to 1. So this is the fraction we're looking at from 0 to 1. Let's begin. Mr. Singer is picking up his daughter, Greta, from school to go to soccer practice. Greta's school is located three-fourths, circle three-fourths, of the distance from the Singer's house to the soccer field. How can you represent two-thirds on a number line? So I see the house right here and this soccer field over here. And they're traveling across one, it looks like maybe one mile. So to start, and we'll write this out on this side, we are going to write our hops. And that is our whole. We're going to write our hops. So I want you to start on zero. Make sure you have a pencil because you may need to erase or you can do this on your class kick. Either one is fine. And we're going to make four hops because our hole has four. When we get to the end, we need four out of four hops. That is our hole. Remember, holes have the same numerator and denominator. So let's go ahead and make those hops. One, two, three. Four. So those are not very even, and I didn't land on my one. So I'll try again. Four hops and land on one. One, two, three, four. That's pretty close. As long as it's pretty close, we'll use that. Pause the video if you need more time to draw out your hops. Now we're on step. Two. Step two is to draw your lines. So we already have our line for zero. We have our first hop and second and third and fourth. And finally, step three. Label fractions. So remember, the numerator is how many parts or how many hops. This first one, I have made zero hops out of, there's a total of four hops. Next one, I have made one out of the four hops. Next one, I've made two out of the four hops. Next one, I've made three out of the four hops. And last one, four out of the four hops. Go ahead and write that out. Now we are going to skip the bottom part and move on to the guided practice. Malia divides a number line from 0 to 1 into 6 equal lengths. What unit fraction, box unit fraction, that means one part, represents each equal length. What should Malia label the tick marks just to the left of one? So I'm going to draw this out for you. I don't want you to take the time to do this. I just want you to be able to see it. We have six equal parts. So I made six hops. And they're asking for a unit fraction. So what is one part of this equal? One hop out of six hops. One sixth. So the unit fraction is one sixth. Each one of these parts, this one is one sixth, this one is one sixth long, 
this one is one sixth long. They are all one sixth long. Then what should Malia label the tick mark, which would be this one right here, to the left of one? So that is this one right here. So what is this point? Well, I have to label my fractions. One, one hop out of six, two hops out of six, three hops out of six, four hops out of six, whoop, five hops out of six, and this would be my whole six out of six. So what does this tick mark represent? What fraction? Go ahead and write out the fraction now. Looking at number two, Josh divides a number line from zero to one into eight equal lengths. What should he label the first tick mark to the right of zero? Now this one I do want you to write out. So try to draw your straightest line. Draw your zero and your one. Now we go through our steps. Step one, draw your hops. You'll need eight hops. Step two, draw your tick marks. In step three, label the fractions. One hop out of eight, two hops out of eight. And when you land on one, you should have eight out of eight hops. So what does the fraction to the right of one equal? What is that fraction? What out of eight? Let's look at do you know. In three and four, divide the number line into given number of equal lengths. Then mark and label the given fraction on the number line. So this tells me, I'm going to look at the denominator first. That's how many hops I need. And this is where my point is going to go. So let's start off with our three steps. Step one. Start on zero and make your hops. I need two hops. One, two. You need to redraw it. Erase and redraw. Step number two. Draw my ticks wherever it lands on the number line. Step three. Label the fractions. This is zero out of one, two hops. This is one out of two hops. And this is my whole two out of two hops. And it tells me that I need to put a mark on the fraction. So I'm going to put a dot on one half. That's where I'm going to put the point. One hop in. Number four, four equal lengths. We have four total hops, and my point is going to go two hops in. All right, our three steps. Start on zero and complete the hops. One, two, three, four. Redraw if you need to. Now we need to complete the, the uh, marks to draw where it lands on the number line. And there's already one for one and there's already one for zero. Finally, we have to label the fractions. I've made zero hops out of one, two, three, four. One hop out of four hops. Two hops out of four hops. 
three hops out of four hops and my whole four out of four as long as you end up with the same numerator and denominator when you get to one you should have the right number of hops then it says that we need to put a point at two fourths so we'll find two fourths and put a mark Now for your practice today, you'll be doing that same thing on your own. Remember that the denominator is how many hops you will take, and the numerator is the hop that you'll be putting your point. Make sure that you use those three steps that we wrote on page 628. Number seven and eight, you'll be drawing your number line. Divide the line into equal lengths for the given fraction, then mark and label the fraction. So you'll be drawing a number line like this, marking zero and one, and doing the same thing that we did for the other ones. Take your time, make sure that your hops are even, and you follow those three steps. Once you are finished with those four, one, two, three, four, you can move on to the next activity for today.